Thursday, March 5th, 2020, coronavirus update. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you the news you need to know. The official coronavirus numbers are wrong, and everyone knows it. The official numbers in the U.S. show 165 infected and 11 deaths, with a death rate of just under 7%. When in reality, there are thousands infected and no test kits available until next week. Now, luckily, congressional leaders struck an $8 billion bipartisan emergency funding deal, and there is money soon to be in place. This will not be vetoed. This will pass right through. So that's good news. But the bad news is that people are not following quarantines. They're not following protocol, even people in the medical industry. A coronavirus patient ignored self-isolation orders and went to a conference. Yes, a hospital worker who became New Hampshire's first coronavirus patient was ordered to self-isolate, but went to a college business event instead. And here's the press release if you want to read about this idiot. Who should be held accountable? and charged criminally, in my opinion. Especially if any of the people he infected die. Now, the New Hampshire Department of Health and Human Services has announced more cases and the case of this idiot who did not follow the quarantine, which is going to make mandatory quarantines potentially forced in the future. Now, also, a student in quarantine after classmates shook hand with Mike Pence has the coronavirus. So does the man that is running the show now, Mike Pence, have the coronavirus? Will he give it to the president? Trump White House barred the press from filming and recording the coronavirus briefing yesterday, raising many eyebrows. And this coming out yesterday, a Facebook contractor in Seattle tested positive for the coronavirus. And this is after news that an Amazon employee was quarantined and may have affected thousands at an Amazon warehouse. And all this, as a paper coming out, identifying now two strains of the coronavirus, indicating it's mutated. And what that leads us to believe is that there are probably many more strains and there will be more mutation. And the problem is that this virus is mostly asymptomatic, which is how it's spreading. People don't even know they have it. They give it to tons of people and then the elderly die. And now the real effects here, the S&P is being crushed. The Dow is being crushed down another 3% today. As gold reaches 10-year highs and is going straight up, as predicted, silver as well. If you can get in, get in now. It's only going to go up, up and away. As the financial markets crash, are you preparing? There are lots of ways to prepare. And I'm going to share you some information about an anti-malaria drug that was being tested for efficacy against COVID-19. And it's chloroquine phosphate which you can get a prescription for and buy online. I'll leave you links to all of this below to do your own research. Chloroquine phosphate. It's used for malaria. And nutraceuticals have also have a potential for boosting your immune system and interferon response to RNA viruses, including influenza and this coronavirus. And Lee has done a lot of hard work on sharing those nutraceuticals with you through a PDF in our videos. But here's the paper coming out that is proving what we've been saying. And also, vitamin C is being used in Wuhan in massive quantities intravenously to fight this disease, especially those affected. A friend of mine just sent an email this morning proving that with 11 articles starting January 26th till present, early large dose intravenous vitamin C, the treatment of choice in Wuhan for the Novel corona pneumonia. Three intravenous vitamin C research studies approved for treating COVID-19. Tons of vitamin C to Wuhan using vitamin C against COVID. Vitamin C in COVID. I'll leave you some of those links below. Spirulina is also found to boost the type 1 interferon 
which will fight this RNA viral infection. We already revealed uh, weeks ago that red algae will help do this as well. And now spirulina is found to do the same thing. There's also the N1 oil, thieves oil, mixed by Todd Kleckner himself, and available cheaper than anywhere on the planet, which is why uh, you want to buy it from Todd. And if you put ORP in the coupon code, you get 15% off. Be prepared. Don't be scared. Prepared, not scared. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in a pandemic. We love each and every one of you. Comment below. If you have any questions, there will be answers in upcoming videos. Be safe. We love you.